Hello Church, uh, welcome to another installment of our video blog. I'm here at National Council 2019 in Orlando, Florida. Uh, it's so great to be here. Thank you so much for sending me. It's an awesome time of refreshing and renewal and there's just a lot of great things that God is doing here. Uh, it's fun to see so many people here worshiping God. And pastors, uh, missionaries, lay people, all just here celebrating what God is doing in and through the Christian Missionary Alliance in the United States and around the world. You can see our banners here, love, proclaim, reach, launch, and in the background you can kind of see the flags there uh, from all the different countries that we serve. Uh, it's just an awesome experience. And the theme this year is beyond. And what we want to do is take all of Jesus to all of the world. It's an awesome, awesome focus for this week. And they're doing a great job refreshing us as we are here. So, uh, we've been doing this video blog where we've been trying to get uh, a little bit more involved in the message from Sunday. And, and I didn't get any questions necessarily from, the, from this past Sunday, so I'm just going to dive in a little bit to where I think there might be an, a little bit of a, a question mark or an issue. And so you know, we talked a lot about anxiety, uh, and a lot of people deal with anxiety. Uh, and so it's just one of those things that just eats at so many people, and it's on the rise. We talked about that. And so I want to make something clear that maybe if I didn't make clear, or hopefully I did, but I just really want to drive the point home that I don't believe that anxiety is a quick, easy fix. And I also don't believe that the Bible says that, uh, that doing those steps that we talked about, that Peter lays out for us in 1 Peter chapter 5, uh, to, that will help us climb out of the pit of despair. I don't believe those things are designed to remove those issues in our life that cause us anxiety, but I do believe that they are helpful in our faith walk, and that's why Peter brings them to our attention. And so uh, I wanted to reiterate that, and I wanted to read something from, from uh, 1 Peter chapter 1. Earlier on, Peter writes for us uh, in 1 Peter chapter 1, and it's something that's super, super encouraging for anyone who's struggling with anxiety. And so I wanted to read that for you right now. And so 1 Peter chapter 1, picking up in verse 3, says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in the praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. That's such a beautiful passage because it gives us hope in the midst of our despair, hope in the midst of our trials, encouragement and strength in the midst of our anxious anxiousness. And I hope that is something that has encouraged you and gives you strength and hope in the midst of your anxiousness. Until next time, be a witness.